Hi, this is Scott from Python FX. I'd like to show you some of the new cool features in our latest major release, Cube 6.0. This version was developed through a product validation process with over 30 customers who helped us identify the main render pipeline issues that they face today. We interviewed visual effects studios, post houses, broadcasters, design companies, and schools teaching digital media, and developed a roadmap based around the concept of smart farming. Smart farming means leveraging data and automation to better manage a render farm. I'll demonstrate the main features of Cube 6.0 supporting that concept of smart farming now. Cube's dynamic frame allocation, built into the Maya Max and Softimage job types, maximizes the overall rendering throughput by minimizing the load time overhead. Cube only loads the scene file once and then keeps the 3D program running, thereby minimizing the network traffic and reducing wait time between frames. Cube automatically load balances your frames across all render nodes. The faster machines finishing first will get assigned more frames than the slower machines. Now this feature is not new to 6.0, but it is worth mentioning for smart farming. Cube 6.0 with smart farming includes integrated charting to visually display historical and current render farm stats right inside the Cube GUI. Charting gives you immediate insight into your render pipeline, including how your hardware and software are being used, and what may be needed to get the rendering requirements you need. These charts will also give you a real render farm data instead of having to guess on how to best manage your studio's rendering resources and infrastructure. It's easy to filter the information by users, job types, projects, and clusters along with specifying the time range. Charts provide real-time information on what's running, what's pending, and what machines are available. Cube 6 render farm data can also be displayed through the Roamby reporting interface via the internet. Roamby transforms your existing render farm data into interactive visualizations and dashboards for the iPhone or iPad. Pipeline Effects now also offers Jumpstart Consulting services to quickly set up Roamby reporting for you. A Cube GUI panel has been added to display the number of licenses for different applications on the render farm. Having Cube track license usage prevents a job from being launched when there's no license available. Cube will hold your job pending with its place in the queue and wait for an available license. Smart Farming now provides auto render wrangling. The first implementation of auto render wrangling includes three problem scenarios we see most often. The first blocks faulty jobs from wasting rendering resources and sends email to the submitting user and the cube administrators. The second automatically locks faulty workers, keeping them from chewing through the entire job list or queues of jobs and sending email to the cube administrators. The third is a maximum frame time or frame time out parameter that will fail and retry a frame if rendering takes over a specified amount of time. Job completion prediction is a part of smart farming. Frame time averages are combined with information on running processes to determine the estimated time for completing a job. If you need it done faster, just on the fly increase the number of machines running the job or erase the job's priority. A file size check option has been added to the command line and command range simple command framework. If an image is identified from parsing the standard out or standard error, Cube can automatically perform file size validation to make sure that it's at least larger than a certain minimum file size. The most render jobs produce frame data. Many artists desire a movie file of their job to review. Cube 6 provides an easy way to generate a movie automatically by creating a chaser job that generates a movie after all the frames have been rendered. Cube's open framework and access via Python and the command line is ideally suited for integrating with third-party or internal pipeline components. Cube 6 now provides an out-of-the-box integration with both Tweak's RB playback and transcoding and Shotgun's production tracking software. Cube 6 uses RBIO to compile images into a single movie or transcode or process a set of images. It can then use the powerful RV viewer to display the results with just a right click from the job. You can also re-render frames through Cube directly from the RV interface if a bad frame is detected. Cube 6 can also help populate the shotgun production tracking database. After a job completes, it can automatically create a shotgun asset version and save relevant information like frame range, output images, user, dates, and notes directly to that database. The open scripts also allow studios to make their own additions and tweaks for required information. In summary, the Cube 6.0 smart farming concept provides studios the information they need to make decisions and intelligently performs actions to reduce the work required for successful rendering. Please contact Pipeline Effects, an authorized reseller, or a Cube certified consultant near you to request a product demonstration or evaluation. We're excited about version 6 and the promise of smart farming going forward.